So game four between the Panthers and Golden Knights last night. The Panthers are looking to even the series up at two, while Vegas is looking to take a 3-1 series lead back home for game five with a chance to close it out. Let's break down the game. Just under two minutes into the first, White Cloud springs Stevenson with a nice pass as he gets behind the defense and fires a quick shot on net, which beats Bobrovsky 5-hole and gets Vegas on the board. That would be it for the first. As we head over to the second, we're just over seven minutes in, Stone enters the Panthers zone, stops up, and finds an open Stevenson in the middle as he fires a quick one-timer, which beats Bobrovsky to put Vegas up 2-0. Then just a few minutes later, Marcheseau finds the puck in the corner and goes back to Hag at the point as he fires a shot on net, which is saved by Bobrovsky, but the rebound goes right to Carlson as he's able to bank it in off Bobrovsky to give Vegas a 3-0 lead. A little later in the period, Barkov enters the Vegas zone, gives the puck back to Montour along the boards, and he just sort of throws the puck on net as it bounces off the skate of two Vegas defensemen and gets past Hill to get the Panthers on the board. Let's pick this one up just under four minutes into the third. Lundell enters the Vegas zone and goes down low to Montour as he fires a beautiful no-look pass cross-ice to Barkov, who fires a quick one-timer which beats Hill and brings the Panthers to within one. The Panthers would pull Bobrovsky late to try and tie it up, but they weren't able to capitalize as Vegas takes this one by a final score of 3-2 and take a 3-1 series lead. Now, in my last video, I said I didn't see the Panthers tying this series up, mainly because they relied too heavily on Bobrovsky in Game 3. I was really hoping I'd be wrong about this, as I wanted it to be a back and forth series, but again, the Panthers just couldn't find a way to get back in this game. Vegas once again just looked like the better team. They got on the board early and built up a solid lead, and while the Panthers did make it interesting late, Vegas was able to hold on. I also really didn't like the scrum at the end of the game. Montour comes in as the final horn sounds and just sort of runs into McNabb, which triggers this huge scrum. I understand the Panthers are frustrated, but you can't take it out like this. This led to complete chaos, fans started throwing a bunch of crap on the ice, and it just really isn't a good look. Regardless, the Panthers are now in the same position they were against the Bruins in round one, so we'll see if they can pull off another comeback, or we'll see if Vegas can close this out at home on Tuesday to win the Stanley Cup. Let me know your thoughts below, please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.